today we are here on a beautiful day here at Brown Hill Creek and we will be showing you Jack's you know, Jack over there his one via Sylvia so Ooh. I'm gonna ask a few questions about it and get to it so I've owned it for a few months now after owning the BMW which I owned yeah it's my first car yeah my second car I'm still on my P's it's a one via S13 with the 180 front obviously it's a CA engine manual of course pretty standard coilovers all around and yeah yeah it well, definitely looks the part as a jap car those wheels on the rear are fat as bit of poke <laughs> yeah just a little bit <laughs> what are the specs on them uh, so we got 16 by 8s in the front and 16 by 9s in the back um originally yeah i didn't think it would poke that much but uh, the 16 by 8s fit well in the front but mm. i think the, the back well it looks good but probably not legal and what about this BMW you were saying? What happened to that, Jack? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what happened, but you had to tell everyone story, else. But yeah, um, that was my first car. I owned it a few months before I had my P's. It's an E36 318 IS. Uh, yeah, the two door manual. They're fun, real drive. <laughs> Lots of fun. But yeah, on the way to buying some new wheels, uh, about an hour and a half away, had a little accident <laughs> around the hills there. but. Just before that, I was hit by a lady in the city. Um, insurance paid for it all, so pretty much balanced out with my crash. <laughs> so yeah, I got this one with them. Yeah, unfortunate, but yeah. Um, you'll probably get another BMW one day, won't you? Yeah, still keen on them. Yeah. But Jap's good as well, so. Yeah, well, this, yeah, your first Jap car. Something yep. different. Yeah. And as you can tell in the videos, you've actually got different interior. So what do you have in there? Yeah, so changed the seats and the dash. It wasn't done by me, but I got S15 dash in there. A lot more modern, like so much nicer than the stock. Um, and the S14 seats, a lot of S13s I've seen lately with them in there, but mm. yeah. No, it's nice seeing an S15 dash that's actually been converted quite neatly because most yeah. of them are kind of just hack jobs. Yeah, it's a good fit. Yeah. I actually looked at the car with Jack when he was going to buy it and it had a little bit of damage so that was on the front fender why don't you point it out to us yeah so I mean there should be some photos in this video but of the original um this whole fender was like pretty much mangled at the front the front bumper was pretty much yeah pretty destroyed um still a bit rough at the moment so I'm not fully complete with it but um yeah just bogging it up and uh, painting it same, same stuff Corey does. So. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. trying to get it straight again. Yeah. Nah, you've done a pretty good job. Like, just got to get uh, headlights around. <laughs> yeah, and a indicator thing. But, mm. but besides that, it's a pretty yeah. honest, reliable car, isn't it? Yeah. It just sucks now that parts are so expensive. Like, just trying to buy a headlights around is like, we can't even buy them by themselves and like. 80 to 100 bucks just yeah. for like this around. So. It's all the track cars that just destroy them. Yeah. So I ask this with everyone who I interview with their cars. What's your favourite thing and the thing you hate the most of it? Well, favourite thing, I just love the shape of it and the way it drives. I mean, the CA, some people don't like, but I reckon CA is definitely like still fun. And Rev's nice. Yeah, it's got uh, good good rev points and it doesn't have to be too high for it to be going hard and, and what do you hate the most do you reckon or just, what you dislike for my car is definitely without power steering it's definitely a bit of a struggle sometimes like roundabouts and stuff but i'm getting used to it and hopefully i'll get the power steering sorted um, mm. just because it, it was a, a leak and i haven't really had any time to look at it yet